Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome back to tutorial number three. And in this tutorial, as promised, we are going to use PHP to print something out in the browser. So hopefully you guys have uh, followed along with the previous tutorials and hopefully your PHP is up and running uh, so that you got this uh, screen or all of this information print it out when you typed uh, that function in, okay? But let's go ahead and delete that. Okay, so printing something out in PHP is obviously very useful, and we're probably going to do it in almost every single program that we write, okay? So to print something out in the browser, you're gonna go ahead and type the word echo, so E-C-H-O, and then you're going to want to put in two quotation marks, okay? Now, inside of these quotation marks, that is where our sentence is going to go. That is where whatever we want to be printed out on the screen will go. So, let's go ahead and type in hello world, because that's pretty much what every book ever teaches you to uh, print out, is uh, hello world for the first time. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, save that now and click refresh. And as you can see, we've now got the words hello world printed out on the screen. So we've actually used PHP to print something out in the browser. Okay, now this word over here, echo, is actually, it's not a function, but it's a built in language construct of PHP. So whenever PHP sees this word echo, then it knows, okay, I'm going to have to print something out on the screen and whatever's after that word is what I have to print out. Okay. So now that we know how to print something out, you'd think, okay, well, I can just go ahead and type whatever I want in here and it's going to work. But it's not actually that simple because there are a few complications. Okay. So let's say I wanted to um, print out like a quotation or a saying in the browser, okay? Then I'd go ahead and uh, let's just try, type something like uh, he said uh, and then, you know, whatever he said inside quotation marks, I would like an ice cream. Now, as you can see, there's already a bit of a hint as to uh, something being wrong here because this text is all black and the rest is gray. So let's go ahead and save this and uh, see what happens. Okay. When I click refresh, you can see that we've got this uh, pass error. It's a syntax error, unexpected I. So why did that happen? Well, whenever we put a sentence like this, inside quotation marks in programming that means that this is now a string or a string of text okay so the only reason that PHP knows that this is a string is because it starts with a quotation mark and then has to end with a quotation mark okay so what we did was we accidentally started our string and then ended our string and the next letter immediately after that was the letter I and PHP reached that and it was kind of like what the heck what is this I supposed to be and so it threw us an error okay and uh, that's why you get unexpected I because PHP wasn't expecting that okay so in order to fix this uh, there are actually two solutions okay we could surround our um, echo statement with just single quotation marks like that and then use the double ones in the middle okay and that will actually work so if we go ahead and save this and refresh we've got hey he said I would like an ice cream okay so it works but then what happens if we have a sentence uh, that kind of has a that has a single quotation mark in it so let's say it um, it said, he said, uh, hey, that's my bike. Okay. 
as you can see, we've got single quotation marks on the outside, and then we've used a single quotation mark here. So it doesn't actually matter w which quotation mark we use. If we try to use a double quotation mark, it's still going to break out of the string somewhere. So now we're kind of stuck. And uh, this is where something called an escape character comes into use. Okay. Now the escape character in PHP is a backslash. So uh, it's this thing right here next to the enter key. Okay. And what that does is immediately escape the next character after it. So if I go ahead and I put my backslash over here, now what happens is it tells PHP, okay, ignore the next character after me, which is this single quotation mark. So that means, okay, PHP, this is part of the string, just ignore it, okay? Uh, and now we can go ahead and save this and refresh this in Firefox and you can see it works. And, hey, that's my bike. And there is our single quotation mark. It actually shows up uh, in the browser. Okay. Now we could also do it this way. So uh, we could also have double quotation marks uh, on the outside. And then instead of escaping that single quotation mark, we could escape these double ones over here. So uh, that one and that one. Oh, whoops, that one. Okay. And that'll work uh, and print out the exact same thing as well. So if I click refresh, nothing changes, uh, but at least we don't have an error. So um, that's basically what the escape character does. So I think that's actually a good place to end the tutorial. And uh, guys, please come back in the next tutorial and we'll talk about string concatenation and uh, statements as well because I haven't explained that yet. So thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to leave a comment, like or share the video and uh, that'll be really helpful.